أيها المختار فينا زادنا الحب هنينا غدنا بالخير دينا يا ختام المستلينا يا حبيبي يا محمد يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu everyone welcome to my channel I just this is something so important for me and for I think all Muslim women you know there is a lot of discussion that keeps going on on feminism there are a couple of women who have decided that they will define what beauty means, what freedom means, what feminism means. They will create a single definition that they will impose on the whole world. That's freedom for them. Just like the French government, they seem to decide what freedom is. So if the president decides that freedom means to dress up, to remove your clothes, the ability to remove your clothes or wear very little clothes, that should be the definition of freedom for the entire woman in the entire world, which doesn't make any sense, let us agree. Forget about me being Muslim, even if I was not Muslim, I would see the hypocrisy and nonsensical idea behind that. You don't talk about freedom and then you define freedom and you impose it on the entire world. Like just, for example, I like to wear, let's say a blue t-shirt. So I will impose that everyone should wear a blue t-shirt. If they wear a red t-shirt, then they are, backward or oppressed or radical or whatever they are of course it doesn't make any sense but i don't understand why the whole world can't see that and yeah it's really sad and shocking and ridiculous and drives me crazy to see that all these years people when they became civilized people if you will see emperors, empresses, queens, kings, prince, uh, princesses, prince, the more someone was noble, educated, wealthy, the more they would dress up. But now it's the opposite. Now if you choose to dress up, as if the entire world has a say in what you wear, as if you have to reveal your entire body to the world, then you are going to please them. But um, I don't understand like, each person has his or her body. Let's say that someone wants to wear a bikini. Who am I to stop them? Or they are wearing some kind of attire that I'm not okay with. I don't have the right to go and tell them that, you know, insult them or demand that they stop dressing up in that way. It's none of my business. So we are totally, we agree on that. When it comes to Muslim in general, yeah, we have always, I think, suffered from that discrimination, unfair, prejudiced and just because someone who call himself Muslim does a bad thing doesn't mean all the Muslims are bad people or terrorists as the famous cliche goes and it really derives me crazy I can't understand the hip the level of hypocrisy is insane the hijab first of all is not something that was only in the Islamic culture or religion Jewish women wear hijab that is they wear hijab or they dress modestly. They don't wear, for example, they don't reveal their color bones or their um, ankles or their elbows and they cover their hair with a wig. And the Orthodox Christian women wear a veil. Their hijab is even more like, it's exactly like their Muslim hijab. Sometimes it's even more dramatic, more modest. You should, you should see these Orthodox nuns, their hijabs like, the level of modesty is just mashallah. Of course, the Virgin Mary. So what level of hypocrisy? If you are telling Muslim women to remove that thing over their heads, then you should remove the veil of all Virgin Mary statues in the entire world. Go and tell someone to remove the veil that is on the head of the Virgin Mary. May God bless her. What kind of hypocrisy is that? How can you allow, you know, both nuns and Muslim women wear the veil for the same reason, the exact same reason, modesty, devotion to God, etc. 
divorcing uh, from the worldly life and the indecent things going on. So why the obsession with the Muslim veil? So yeah, there were so many women who fool themselves, I would say, into thinking that the less clothes you have on, the more liberated you are. I don't anymore blame men as such because you have a responsibility for what kind of clothes you are wearing. And besides, I always say that you can't compare yourself to a man. If there is no question of becoming equal to a man. You are not a man. We both, are, both are different. How can you say that you will become equal to a man? You are different. There is no question of becoming equal. Besides, a man can go out with his chest revealed. But you can't do that as a woman. Maybe women are going to start doing that now because they don't know how to prove themselves. In their attempt to try to liberate themselves from the so-called shackles of the patriarchal society or whatever it is, they are trying to become like men. They don't want to, you see women are ashamed of being feminine or being doing something that is typical, typically like a woman's thing to do. They are, don't agree with sometimes being confined to some feminine roles. It's as if a matter of disgrace to them. They have, they want to be like men, dressing up like men. So when I look at Instagram, sometimes I look at the pictures which I, which I see there. I've never seen such kind of indecency or unnecessary nudity going on. I don't understand why these actresses or models will allow themselves to be disrespected in such a way. Why are you putting your body like a piece of meat? It's not attractive. I see unnecessary displays of cleavage. I see unnecessary displays of legs, of everything that you can imagine. Sometimes you, you are alone with your phone. You have this uh, shame, you feel ashamed of being a woman when you look at that. You don't understand there is no need. Sometimes, you know, there is no need for someone to be displaying their entire body. They call that liberation. I feel sick if I were in the place of this woman. I would, I don't know, I wouldn't be able to sustain that. Like, why is it so aggressive now? Why? I see ridiculous things people do just to get attention. Is that the kind of attention that you are looking for? Just for men to look at your body? All kinds of men just to treat you, give you attention just because of your body? Is it normal? Is it healthy? Is that what you call the female liberation? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. So may Allah bless us. I actually am thankful that I get to see those things on one hand because it makes me realize like what I was doing was also wrong. I don't never, I never want to wear certain types of clothes and go out and, and be valued for my body. I would rather hide it and if someone wants to like me and appreciate me, let them like me for my character, my values, my personality, my devotion to God, but not, not this. Anyone can have, you know, the body is something so superficial. Why are you doing that? You have so much more to offer. Just wake up and respect yourself. You know, you have so much more to offer. That's all I have to say.